This guy was not happy our news camera was there to catch his arrest on tape. Police discovered the truck he was driving was stolen when he turned in front of an officer at Culebra and Zarzamora. But when they tried to pull him over, he took off. Officers say he drove into this ditch at Bassey Road and kept going. He made it all the way to Catalina and San Angelo, and then he bailed out and started to run. I just woke up and uh, I just saw all these cop cars around in my neighborhood, just like it was, a, you know, just like a movie scene. It was a rough wake-up call for Robert Urdiales. He was asleep when the driver tried to hide under his home on El Monte. I just hear a whole bunch of footsteps. So I look outside my window, and then I see them all running over here to the side of my house. So I looked, and then they're all on my porch and then handling with the guy, so I just went back inside. Officers yanked out the driver and took him into custody. At first, he was calm, but then he became agitated. That's when he kicked out the window, just inches away from our photojournalist, Thomas Lynn. Thomas escaped with just a few cuts, but emergency workers checked him out just to make sure. Now he and Erdiales are left with a story to tell. It's just crazy just to wake up something like that, though. That's about it. As practices get underway in August, high school athletes are definitely feeling the heat. News for Christina De Leon went to a school here to find out just what they are doing to stay cool. The start of the football season means lots of practice here at Stevens High. And getting back in shape in this record heat. We want them to be in condition because they're going to play in some heat uh, early in the season in Texas. It's hot. I mean, August is hot. That's the way, Christian. Good job. When we started running doing our um, conditioning over there, my cleats, they're, since they're black, they got real hot. You could, they were actually steaming. Water becomes the best way to rehydrate. Everybody get a rinse. That's mandatory. We get like five water breaks every maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> Another way these players keep from overheating is now state law. The players are only allowed to wear shirts and shorts the first few days of practice. And that's to acclimatize us. You let us get used to the heat and the feel of the helmet. And then we don't always work in helmets. We'll take those off to help us cool off. And with the temperatures expected to rise. Just jog down, get you a quick rinse, come right back. The team is making sure they take those breaks. Keep cheese rolled up. That way, the Falcons can start this season ready to play. Christina De Leon, News 4, WOAI. Well, Kevin Johnson says it was Jake's smile, not his disability, that inspired him to start this organization. We wanted to see for ourselves. So, News 4, WOAI photojournalist Thomas Lynn joined Jake for a day of fun. Welcome to San Antonio, where it's a magical place and dreams come true. Oh, Morgan's Wonderland has been wonderful. Come on in. He's been on the carousel. I'm the kid of the world. On the train and the cars. <laughs> beep, beep. I am ready to get my driver's license. You want to go try that wheelchair swing? All right, buddy. Yeah, hey. yeah. That's something that he has never been able to do. The, the motion of swinging back and forth for someone in a wheelchair is, is something that they don't experience like we do. It's, it's almost like when you see your child take their first steps. He's getting to experience things that he's never experienced before. She has brown hair, and she's taking pictures of me right now. He's so funny. He's, he's such a woman chaser. What's the best part of the trip so far? Megan? <laughs> it's been great. You have such a great personality. Thanks. Super outgoing, super funny. <laughs> he told me uh, I make his eyes sparkle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to see Jake's face and the family's face on seeing him do things he's never done before, it's priceless, absolutely priceless. Jake touched my heart in a, in a way that it was time to change our direction as far as charity giving and develop something that could bring the Jakes of the world to Morgan's Wonderland and get to experience things they would never experience. I think of this place, it's amazing for me, amazing for other people. I was a key on the hill. 32-year-old Lisa Martinez went in to have liposuction with a doctor that she had researched. Her husband tells us she was confident and excited about it. But little did he know that morning when she sent him a text message that she loved him right before the procedure, that would be the last time he would ever hear from his wife again. We have to tell you her husband, who is still very protective of her and out of respect for his wife, did not release a photo of her to us. Here's his story. 
We were high school sweethearts, and I've often told her that she, she made me a better person. Eric Martinez has to explain to his three young sons why the love of his life, the love of their lives, is gone forever. I, all I can is reassure them is that their mommy is in heaven and that they, their mommy loved them very, very much. On the morning of April 14th, 32-year-old Lisa Martinez went in for liposuction with Dr. Robert Young, a popular San Antonio plastic surgeon. I knew that it was a thing, it was a woman thing that I couldn't, I couldn't connect on. Lisa was getting what's called a Brazilian butt lift. Dr. Young was collecting fatty tissue from the hips and lower and mid back, then injecting it back into her buttocks. But during the surgery, according to the medical examiner, Lisa suffered intra-abdominal hemorrhaging due to a perforated aorta. The vein supplying blood to the rest of the body was punctured. Eric and Lisa's parents were beyond devastated, asking how this could happen. I said, what are you telling me? And he said, she's not going to make it. She was healthy. There was nothing wrong with her. She, there was nothing wrong with her. For that reason, the family ordered an autopsy. What, ha what happened to her is unacceptable. It, it really is. The family also obtained an attorney who says Lisa went into cardiac pulmonary arrest on the table. EMS rushed her into the ER at North Central Baptist Hospital, just next door to the doctor's clinic. I've told everyone that I cannot replace the love of my, of my wife to my children, the mother. But if I could just get a fraction of it, just a fraction for my boys. She was a good person. She was a good person. I miss her so much. As time goes on, things have gotten even more difficult for the single father who says his boys continue to ask why their mommy had to leave them. They ask me, why, why is mommy in heaven? I, I tell them because God thought that she was beautiful and that he wanted her with them. The family attorney says a punctured aorta is considered accidental death. For that reason, the family is filing a medical malpractice lawsuit.